Welcome back to the Crack Mug. It says here that I'm going to make a tomato tart, and I will. Um, I'll put a picture of the completed one up here for you. One beautiful thing about summertime is the fruit, and uh, we have gorgeous tomatoes, or tomatoes, as we say in Ireland. Uh, big, juicy deliciousness. So this tart is made with a homemade crust. You can buy your own. Um, the bottom of it is spread with roasted garlic, uh, sliced tomatoes. There's a cheese in there, a really creamy cheese, uh, drizzled with olive oil, salt and pepper. Easy to put together. Um, and it's absolutely incredible to eat, let me tell you. The flavor from just the tomatoes, the sweetened garlic and the cheese is really quite magnificent and one of my favorite things to eat in summertime. It's perfect for lunch or dinner with a salad and I think you'll really enjoy it. So come on, let's get in that kitchen. You will need, I have one roasted head of garlic here. I'll put a link in the video up top as to how to do that. It's very easy to do in your oven or even your toaster oven. Uh, here I have also one tart shell. Um, I'll put a link for that up top as well. You could use a pre-made one or use your own favorite one, entirely up to you. This has been made, it's been in the fridge for a couple of hours chilling. We want it nice and cold. Two tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper. Here I have Fontina cheese. It's a soft cheese. It's a beautiful, mild, nutty cheese. It's semi-soft, so if you're having a hard time grating it, cut off the amount you need and put it in the freezer for 10, 15 minutes. It really helps with the grating process. This guy you can ignore because I, it's optional. I had it in the fridge, it's Parmesan. So I like to put a little bit of that on top of everything before it goes in the oven. And of course, here we have the star of the show. Um, use your favorite tomatoes. If you have hairling tomatoes, use those as well. Um, it's one and a half pounds, about 680 grams. Uh, usually I can get some yellow ones as well, but at the moment I'm settling for these sort of deep red or brownish ones and our lovely red tomatoes. You can prepare your garlic days in advance and leave in the refrigerator as you can with your pie shell. So you're not forced to do it all in one day, uh, which I did everything yesterday. And now I'm simply going to assemble it. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the garlic first and squeeze it, oh my word. The smell is incredible. So squeeze it all out. You'll get the papery shell breaking in your hand. That's fine. We're just not going to use that part. We're just going to mush this up with a fork and then we're going to spread it on our very cold pastry shell. Get it all in there. And simply spread it around the base evenly. Every piece of the pastry should have some roasted garlic on it. Perfect. Now sprinkle about half your cheese on top of the garlic. Like so. We're going to arrange our lovely tomatoes, slightly overlapping, about halfway up the one behind it. And we're going to go around in a circle. There, I use most of those tomatoes. The rest I can use for a sandwich. Now all we're going to do is sprinkle the rest of this cheese on top of the tomatoes. Generous amount of salt. I'm using coarse salt. Put about a quarter to a half a teaspoon. And some nice fresh black pepper. And like I said, because I have 
the Parmesan. I'm just going to grate a little bit over this. And then lastly, we're going to dribble our two tablespoons of olive oil all over this. Perfect. We're going to pop this into our preheated oven and then we're going to turn the temperature down immediately to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 204 Celsius. And we're going to bake this for about 45 minutes, maybe up to 55. We'll see how it goes. The smell from this is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to try it. Time to cut it. Oh Magnificence. It really is beautiful. And absolutely a lovely golden color on the bottom as well. This is perfect for lunch. Uh, you could also have it with a salad and make a meal out of it for dinner. Uh, lovely if company is coming over, easy to throw together, uh, little preparation. But I, these juicy tomatoes, I just have to try them. And it looks. Mmm. The pastry I use is really buttery. It's absolutely melts in your mouth. You can taste the roasted garlic, which tastes nothing like regular garlic when you cook with it. It loses all that sharpness and creates this lovely nutty flavor, which is also complemented by the nuttiness and the fontina cheese. It's absolutely incredible. You should definitely give this a try. I know you will love it. You really will. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.